Well, we wouldn't have graffiti if it wasn't for him. He was a brilliant artist on so many levels. In some ways, I worship him, you know? And I'm 71 years old. <laughs> Jean-Michel Basquiat was one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. He ran in the same circles as Andy Warhol, Blondie, Madonna, and was one of the most sought after artists in downtown Manhattan during the 1980s. As his fame rose, he faced many demons, including addiction. On August 12, 1988, Basquiat died of a heroin overdose in his downtown loft. He was 27. He is buried in Brooklyn's Greenwood Cemetery. We really want to make sure that we're respecting Basquiat's family. That's someone's son, that's someone's brother. People are coming from many different places, sometimes very far away places to see this grave. He's one of our most visited sites. Um, as you can see on his headstone, people like to leave little things. Unfortunately, some people also tend to leave graffiti on his headstone, which is quite fitting for, for the type of art that he did. However, it is bad for the stone itself. Thankfully, it's, um, it is a gray granite and it has a high polish around the perimeter, so those are very tenacious stones. Um, if you look around, our historic granites, they look very good. So it's important to know that that choice is good for longevity, but if someone were to put paint or wax or other things that might have oils in them, it's very difficult to get those out. We have some young uh, French students who are volunteering their time here cleaning Basquiat's headstone. We have to um, pay respect to former uh, people, former history. For us, it, it made perfect sense when two years ago, or, or, uh, people said, well, you're coming from France, everybody wanted to know where's Basquiat's grave, and so to clean it, it made sense. We can come by and rinse off um, a piece of crayon that was just done really quickly, and that'll take five minutes, or as you saw today, with some paint, you know, that'll take a little more elbow grease. Here, with this work, you put on gloves, you're digging the dirt, you're, you're cleaning, you're scrubbing, and it's completely peaceful and idyllic here. This is in the middle of New York City. <laughs> so I hope they get, I hope they get some of this, uh, if they take back with them. What do I think Basquiat would think about this? <laughs> I think he would like to be buried here in a way that's not ostentatious, like these other, some of these other gravestones. Maybe he would have loved something really big, but I think it's, it's nice. It's, uh, it's humble and I like that, that part. <laughs>